what are some other big points in the ordinance that would shoot down, shoot down an application? Like I go to fill this thing out. What are other some, you know, two or three points where that would probably kill this thing day one? You have to have uh, insurance. So you have to have a pretty good um, liability insurance policy to cover um, the unit and um, harm and everything. Full liability, comprehensive policy. I think it's got a million dollar limit. I actually have it pulled up here. Um, yes, with with limits of not less than a million dollars. Um, so you have to have good insurance if you are actually going to get licensed. You also have to keep maintenance records. Um, so I think it's uh, every three years, the city can request your maintenance records to make sure that you are keeping everything up to code. Um, so that's, you know, Hopefully, you know, everybody's keeping their their buildings up to code anyway, but you have to keep these records and keep them organized. And really, at any time, the city could ask to see them. Um, Obviously, you know, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors have to be engaged. There are some general requirements for providing, you know, sanitized plates and utensils and things like that and soap and clean linens and all of that. Um, so if you are, if you do get licensed and then the city is getting tons of complaints that everything's dirty and there's never any towels or anything, they could pull your license. Um, but th- those are some of the things that you will be required to, to attest that you promise to do when you, when you get your license and you'll have to show proof of insurance as well.